really a star if you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, we marry Belinda Mays. Passepartout. It's come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of bricks. Unless Bob mixes his tricks. Around the world with Bob the Zoo. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Pete. Around the world in 80 days. So Bob may marry Blinda May. Around the world with Bob the Zoo. So Falk has reached northern Greece. Well, by get free, he shan't make it to Athens, or my name's not Lord Mays. <laughs> Your hourly weather report, Lord Mays. The fog happens to be at the precise spot where a tremendous rainstorm is expected. Is that good, sir? Good, Eves. It's almost too good to be true. <laughs> now, to put one of my master plans into action. Yes, Lord Mayne. I intend to get him hopelessly lost. <laughs> I must telegraph to my man fix at once. Here we are in northern Greece, and we want to go to Athens in southern Greece. That is a very long way. I should get the bag at once. Parlez-vous! What's wrong, Prince Quantou? Rain, monsieur. It looks like a terrible storm. It is a terrible storm, monsieur. <laughs> Ah, we're in luck. Luck, Mr. Fix. It's raining cats and dogs, Mr. Fix. But what's so lucky about that? Fog won't be going anywhere in this storm, Mr. Fix. So? So I'm gonna take the day off, sneak in a little sleep, huh? I can really use it. Simon Petra is way up there, on top of Mount Athos. 
It is the most famous monastery in all Greece. Is that all of the telegram? A little bit more. It says, don't just stand there, get going. Understand? It is a never been storm, you. What can we do? We can't start in the middle of all that, can we? What our schedule, Mr. Fogg? While we wait, I have an important project for us. Did you ever make a rope? A rope? What good is a rope? It cannot help us in this rain. Perhaps not, but remember, there's a time and a place for everything. Hook that over there. Would you? is on his way to the monastery to hide the map. Good. Good. Best I'll find that map in the monastery. He'll follow it and get lost. The map is a trick. There is no shortcut. He'll never make it around the world in 80 days. But I don't understand, sir. How can you be so certain Mr. Fogg will be looking for a shortcut? Because I know Phileas Fogg. Why should we bother making rope, monsieur? With the storm delaying us, there is no way we can get back on schedule. There might be. But how? What about a faster way to Athens? A shortcut? Precisely. So, is that why we make the rope? There's a time and a place for everything. All right, Mr. Fix, we're here. What now? Lord May said to hide the secret shortcut map, so we better hide it good, Mr. Fix. You don't mean the bell tower, Mr. Fix. Now, Mr. Fix, just tuck the map into that crack there. Like this, Mr. Fix. Perfect, Mr. Fix. The perfect hiding place. I wonder how Lord Mays expects to make Fog come here to look for a map. Lord Mays, why should Mr. Fog go to the monastery of Simopetra? Because I shall send him there, Dave. Phileas Fogg will be delayed at least one full day by the storm. And that means he can never get around the world in 80 days. Unless, of course, he finds the map of a secret shortcut, which is hidden in the monastery of Simo Pet. But he would never think of going there unless someone told him to. I must tell Phileas. But how? Someone could take me glider and tell him. But who would ever think of a thing like that? I would. And I must hurry. You see, Dave's nothing to it. <laughs> Couldn't be better. When Lord May says to hide a map, I hide it. Which means that Lord May's plan will work like a charm. Which means it's a lovely time to finally get that nap, Mr. Fix. <sighs> I'd love to sleep in the sound of the rain. The storm is ending, Transpatu. We'd best be on our way. 
we will look for a shortcut. Yes, monsieur? To make up the lost time? Yes. But what shall I pack in the bag, monsieur? The rope. That's not too. I shall tie this large hook onto the end. There now. We are ready to begin the journey. Linda, how nice. But you should not be here. I had to come, Phileas. I know you're behind schedule. And I've learned of a shortcut that will make up for lost time. You must go to the monastery of Simo Petra. There is a map hidden there. What kind of map? A map of the secret shortcut to Athens, Passepartout. But where is this monastery? Up there. High on Mount Athos, overlooking the sea. Then let us go at once. All right. I am ready. But I'm afraid you cannot go with us, Belinda. Why not? It is the law that no woman must ever set foot on Mount Athos. It's been the law for a thousand years. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of. But it is their law. You must go back to your home, Mademoiselle Belinda. This trip is a dangerous one anyway. But I will watch out for Miss Fogg. <laughs> Goodbye, Belinda, my dear. And thank you for your help. Goodbye, Phileas. Be careful. Perhaps we shall meet again sooner than you expect. What? What happened? Oh, someone at the door again. Who is it? Telegram for Mr. Pitt. That'll be one dollar delivery charge. Also, one dollar for special translating service. Here is the message. Ready? Ready. Wake up, dum dum. Get to the monastery. Make sure Fog finds the map. Map is a fake. He will get lost. Is that all? Little bit more. It says. Problem with those instructions, Mr. Fix? None at all. Just hop up to the monastery again to be sure Fog finds the map. There's no reason why I shouldn't find it, you see, Mr. Fix. You left it right there in the... in the... in the... in the bell tower. You dumb, dumb! He'll never find it up there! But if he doesn't find it, he won't know about the phony shortcut. And he won't get lost. And Lord Mays will take me and... and... Oh, boy! Nearly 1,200 feet high, and straight up. Aha! Now I understand. This is why we made the rope, no? You have a way to use the rope and the hoop so we can more easily climb this mountain. No, Passepar too. We can make it up these stairs without the rope. Then why must we carry such a heavy rope? If it cannot help us up the stairs, let us leave it here. No, no. Remember, there's a time and a place for everything. Fowler, fool! What was that? Someone in a very great hurry to get to the top. That ought to show you how easily it can be done without a rope. You've got to hit that map, Mr. Fix. Put it out where it can be found by fog. Of course it's true. For a thousand years, 
No women have been allowed here. In fact, nothing female can enter this territory. No female dogs or female cats or female goats. Oh, there is one exception. Ah, here we are at the top at last. Oh, good. What do we do first? First, I must go and call on the head of the monastery. That is only good manners. And while Monsieur Fogg goes there, I shall look for the map. Oh, Mademoiselle Blinda, what are you doing here? I came to help you and Phineas look for the map of the secret shortcut. But you are not allowed here. No women for a thousand years. No females of any kind. That's the silliest rule I ever heard of. I came all the way from my home to Greece, and I'm not going back until I know you've found the map. The library! It's probably in the library! But where is the library? Follow him! It is hopeless. There are too many places to look. We will never find it. We can't give up. We must find the secret shortcut, Ma. What I tell you? Parlez-vous! Oh, I mean, parlez-vous! This must be the map. You see, it says shortcut map. But how do we know it's a secret one? <laughs> it is that secret. This must be the one. Come, we will tell Monsieur Fogg. Thank you, Brother Demetrius. I believe these warm wool robes are exactly what we need for the journey. It is a woman! And a stranger with her! No! 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 Ah! They have seen us, Belinda, but do not fear. I shall protect you. Quick! Ah! I shall never let anyone bring harm to Mademoiselle. Now, now, Prince Bantu. Calm yourself. I see why we have brought them up, monsieur. We should tie all of them up so they cannot harm Mademoiselle Blinda. No, no, Passepartout. Not the rope. There's a time and a place for everything. Then this must be the place. How else can we keep them from harming Mademoiselle Blinda? We would not harm anyone. But to have a female here is against our law. We cannot allow it. But you do make one exception. Only females who fly, such as birds and butterflies, they are allowed. But surely this lady did not fly. But I did. Look at the glider. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> Why, I, I hardly know what to say. It is highly irregular, of course, but I suppose you can stay. That is not necessary, monsieur. We have found the secret shortcut, Maxi. Now you can follow it and get back on schedule. Secret shortcut? A map? A shortcut to where? What then? Where we must go? We found the map in your library. Let me see that. Why, this is a fake. A dangerous fake. If you follow this, you would be lost for days. Fix tricks, fix tricks, fix tricks! My uncle has made fools of us all. Parlez-vous, we shall never get to Adams in time. Well, I found out the shortcut map was a fake, Mr. Fix. But who cares, Mr. Fix? They're so far behind now, they'll never get back on schedule. Excellent, Mr. Fix. Shall we be on our way back to the room? Why not? We can finally get that sleep we've been after. Stop here, Mr. Fix! Fogs, are you caught me? But what good will that do now? You'll never get to Athens on time. Won't we? What do you say to the use of this glider? How's that for a shortcut? But, but... With only these clothes, monsieur, we would surely freeze. Exactly, dumb, dumb. You'd freeze. Ah, now I see why it was you wanted these heavy woolen robes. Precisely. Put these on, you two, and get aboard the glider. So, Monsieur Fix, you are 
not so smart as you think. It is we who have fixed you. Oh, you have, have you? Well, did you ever think of this? Night time will be here soon, won't it? You won't be able to see a blooming thing. That glider will fly right over Athens without you even knowing it's there. How's that for a It seems to be getting dark very quickly, Phyllis. Look at the sun. She's going down. It will soon be pitch black. Phyllis, what are we going to do? Mr. Fix was right. In the dark, we will fly right over us. And right out to sea, there is nothing to stop us. Yes, there is. The rope. Get off the rope, class by two. Hook, you are going to catch on to something. Correct. This rope is precisely the right length to... To catch on to the highest point in Athens. The Parthenon. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Blinda Mays. Around the world with 